Folks, it's that time. The TLP rule set was finally announced uh, as part of the EverQuest producer's letter that came out today. And as we predicted, well, some of what we predicted in our previous video on what the TLP rule sets would be has come true. So let's dive right in. Uh, first here we got we have our handy dander pr producers letter for April 2024. All that glitters is not gold. And then we've got a lot of stuff here. Skip, 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 skip. Okay, it's cool stuff about PAX East, but it's not what we're here for. Swag store, great. Lore and trivia contest, cool, cool, cool. A little bit of a, a roadmap of January through March, what we've done so far. And then what's coming up, April through June. Now that all the formalities are out of the way, let's talk about the big announcement for this quarter. It's time to reveal the time-locked progression server rule sets for 2024. I hope you all are as excited as we are for these rule sets. Now, remember, before I read this, our prediction was Kunark launch May 22nd, and it would be one mischief rule set and one PvP rule set named Teak and Tormax, respectively. Let's see what we got. With mischief and Eridun, rip, big, big fail here. Listen, um... No, big note to Eridun, okay? But uh, with Mischief and Eridun being the two most popular server rule sets from their opening day to today, this was an easy enough choice to make for such a celebratory year. So without further ado, our new TLP servers are Tormax, a traditional time-locked progression server, and Teak, a random loot, free trade, time-locked progression server. Both will have relaxed true box, starting with the traditional true box rules and relaxing the true box rules after or further over time. I'm guessing that over time is going to be Omens of War. That's awesome. Really good job there. Um, both servers will start with Ruins of Kunark unlocked. Great. Awesome. Love it. With the expansion unlocks then happening at a standard cadence. Both will launch on Wednesday, May 22nd. Called it. Called it. Um, that's not all either. This year, we're introducing a name reservation system that will launch on April 24th. Those characters with 200 days or more play time will be the first with the opportunity to reserve their character names on these servers. As we get closer to launch, the playtime restrictions will lower for the next round and so forth. So be sure to get in those hours. I can't wait to lose my character names again to someone who has used their Bizarre Mule for 600 years. Okay, cool. Who cares? Um, last but not least, they want to thank us for being here during the banner year, 25 years. That's great. All right, let's talk about the rule set. Mischief is great. We predicted it. This Tormax server is a big, a big dud. This is a terrible idea. It is going to be DOA. No one wants to play on a, a traditional TLP server. I know people in the comments are going to be like, I want to play in... Listen, it's a generalization. Okay, guys. I know that there are literally people out there who make bad decisions and want to play on a traditional unlock server. Um, for you guys, great. I'm glad you have it. There's going to be 15 people on the server. Um, Teak is going to be a banger. It's going to be awesome. I'm surprised there is no EXP shenanigan going on with Teak, given that it's named after the Hot Zone NPC but whatever um just out of the box mischief rule set is going to be fun it's going to be great if you didn't play on mischief 1.0 get on mischief 2.0 aka teak it is it is a thrilling experience ton of fun the most fun i've ever had in everquest the best server that has ever been um now this Eridune 2.0 big dud big fail in my opinion Eridune was popular because it launched at a at a specific moment in time where everyone was working from home a lot of people okay people had more time on their hands Brad McQuaid, visionary behind uh, a big portion of EverQuest success, died right before that. It was named after him. It was a, a series of perfect factors lined up to make it a popular rule set server. But out of the box, um, it's just not going to be good. It's not going to be good. So they're calling it uh, Eridun being the two most popular rule sets, but Tormax is going to be a traditional TLP server. So does it not have Eridun's rule set? Eridun's rule set was increased customer service, which it didn't actually have, or wasn't uh, visibly felt by the players at least. And then a, what was it, like two box maximum or three box maximum, even outside of true box. So even if you had 1,500 computers in your room or you were spoofing your hardware ID or whatever you were doing, you could only get a certain number of, of accounts there. Um, either way, it's a big dud. Standard Finny clone, bad. Eridun rule set, bad. Launching it next to the absolute juggernaut that is the mischief rule set is a recipe for that server to fail. Um, I know my advice is absolutely unwarranted and unwanted, but listen, this is what I would say. If I were, if I were at Darkpaw, 
have a second server ready for Teak, okay? Have a backup server. Have a Thornblade 2.0 um, because you are not going to get much overflow onto that Tormex server. You're going to have 10,000 people or more trying to log in to Teak on day one. And um, what we saw with Thornblade was really that if you launch them, if you pre-announce them and you launch them um, where people know there's going to be two servers with this rule set, it could be pretty successful and it can last a, a good amount of time. If you do it where you launch Teak and then the next day you're like, wow, the queue is 18 hours long for Teak still. Let's spin up a second server. Well, half the server is level 30 at that point. And a critical mass of guilds are not going to want to roll over there. And you're going to have a really... It's going to be a server with a great rule set that is going to be limping a little bit because it's going to have a rough population in the beginning because people just don't want to transfer over there. So please, I'm begging you, consider a simul release, simul simultaneous release for two servers with that Teak rule set, that Mischief rule set, because you know, you have seen the data, the player base has seen the popularity. It's going to be a banger. Everyone's going to be there. And um, I think it will help ease population density concerns if there were two servers with that rule set. But anyway, uh, I think our prediction was Kunark launched May 22nd. We, we expected a PvP server, so we were wrong on that. Rip PvP dreams. I guess lost the work and get out of Discord now for another uh, nine months. And um, that's all, folks. Thanks for stopping by. Glad we predicted some of this correctly. Better luck next year if you want PvP.